So what we're going to do now is we're going to take you through the heart in sequential fashion and we're going to describe the normal anatomy of its various components. We're going to start off with the morphologically right atrium. I'm going to show you its component parts and I'm going to show you how it differs from the morphologically left atrium. We'll then come back and we'll look at the atrioventricular junctions. So we'll look first here at the morphologically right atrioventricular junction, guarded, as you see, by the morphologically tricuspid valve, and we'll compare that with the morphologically left atrioventricular junction, guarded by the mitral valve. We'll then turn our attention to the ventricles, and I'll show you the features that permit us to recognize this chamber as being the morphologically right ventricle, and we'll compare that with the morphologically left ventricle. We'll then turn our attention to the ventricular arterial junctions, and we'll look at the features of here, the pulmonary valve guarding the right ventricular arterial junction, and then we'll look up the outflow tract of the left ventricle, and we'll take note of the features of the aortic valve guarding here the left atrioventricular junction. We'll come back then, and we'll look at the anatomy of the arterial trunks. The pulmonary trunk emerging from the right ventricle, the aorta emerging from the left ventricle, and we'll look at the arterial duct, which as you see in this specimen has already become ligamentous. Then we'll focus on the vascular supply. We'll look at the structure and arrangements of the right coronary artery. We'll look at the left coronary artery and we'll see how the left coronary artery branches into anterior interventricular and circumflex arteries. We'll then pick up the vascular system as it returns, in most instances, to the coronary sinus. And then finally, we'll focus on the crucial conduction systems. And I'll show you the location of the sinus node lying here in the terminal groove. And then to finish, we'll look at the important triangle of cock, showing us here the location the atrioventricular node, and we'll look at the ventricular landmarks for the ventricular bundle branches. So that all in all, we'll have way made our way through the structure of the normal heart in attitudinally appropriate fashion.